Hi everyone. It's officially, I don't know what day it is. Oh, sorry, the sun. Um, it is the 17th. I was actually supposed to leave for Laos today. Um, they were gonna pick me up at like 6.37, no, 6.45, 7 a.m. I went to bed at four o'clock in the morning, all right? It was my last night here in Pi. But yeah, I woke up and I was like, no, just no. So how I'm feeling, how I'm doing, you know, I'm stuck. I'm, I am currently in the pie hole, as they say, which you come to pie and you get stuck here because it's beautiful, so much to do, it's relaxing, it's just a great time. So yeah, they call it the pie hole, you get sucked in. Uh, so that's exactly what happened to me. I'm pretty sure I've been here almost a full week, um, but it's okay. I now that I've extended, my, you know, my my stay, my trip, my whole trip. I got about a little over a week in Laos that I will still have. Then I think I'm going to fly to my, my Buddhist retreat, do that for the week. And then I have like three weeks in Vietnam. I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm a mess, but it's a beautiful mess. I was able to video chat my brother last night. That was great considering it's a 15 hour difference. So we just don't like, we, not, we can't talk. Like it's just so hard to, you know, plan it. Uh, I've just met so many. It's, it's actually insane how many people I've met and you really just don't know like what can happen who you who, who you will meet um, It's just crazy to think that like you never knew these people existed and you have these These moments where you are actually experiencing the world together. Like I said before in my last video Yeah, you just You just never know um, But yeah overall, I've been doing so much uh, yesterday we did an hour uh, motorbike ride to the caves. Stunning, totally worth it. Um, there were bats, you could feed the fish, you took a boat ride through the cave. Uh, then it was obviously an hour back and we stopped about halfway and looked, watched the sunset. And then, you know, came back and we got, got ready and went out. Um, I'm still with Mary, Leon and Jan. We've kind of all been traveling together. It's been awesome. Unfortunately, Mary leaves today at five to go back to Chiang Mai. Like I said before, it's just that it's part of the trip where you just realize there's so much more to life. Um, and I'm just, I still feel so lucky meeting when people I am. I am quite nervous to do the slow boat. Because it's, I've been traveling with these people um, for, for so long now that I'm going to be by myself again. And I'm so nervous. I'm so scared. But you know, that's I'm not. I'm not scared per se. I just don't want to do it. Like, <laughs> like I'm so comfortable with these people, and it's been so great traveling with them that like I'm like, shit. Like I don't want to go back by myself. But I'm trying to remind myself that that was the whole essence of this trip was traveling solo. And I know, I know, I, I do it. I, even last night, like I said, I met. I meet people so easily that. that two day or three day boat ride and two night um, I'm gonna meet incredible people I know I will and probably be traveling with some other people for another week or something so um, I know I'll be fine I know it'll be great and I need to remember like this is the point of my trip is um, traveling so low and it's it's great to say hi to people suck saying bye <coughs> gross so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the, that part of the trip where, like, I'm, I'm saying goodbye to my first group of people that I met, and it sucks. <laughs> it actually sucks. But um, it means a new beginning, right? So that's something I used to remind myself. And like I said, I know I'll be fine. I'll meet fantastic people. Um, yeah, I'm learning great things, having great experiences. I'm definitely, this is the sad part of the trip, but uh, it'll be, it'll get happy again, I know it will. So, thanks for listening, and I will see you, hopefully if not tomorrow, the next day. Bye.